All right, YouTube, as I promised, got the TIG welder out today. Uh, first time really using a TIG. I used it at my old job a little bit here and there, but I uh, really didn't know what the settings do. Still quite don't know. We're gonna try it on some uh, scrap tubing I got laying around. Um, got the Alpha 200X is what we picked up. Argon bottle there. We're picking up a cart tomorrow at Harbor Freight, of course, because it's July 4th. No, it's most uh, Tuesday, July 4th. Today is Saturday, so. But a little machine here, 2017 model. I don't think it changed much. But I've got to set 90 amps. We got to set 50 start. We're trying to do 10. 10 start, about 90 total. Kind of interesting. The knob says like 110, and that says 90. Must have been put on wrong or something weird there. And the amps, you know, we got. 2T, it goes straight foot pedal control, so you have full use of it. Straight arc, DC, because we're doing steel, TIG. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's it all, the cable's hooked up. Uh, get the TIG torch plugged into the negative side, as the manual says. Ground's on the positive side, which they are color-coded red and red, white and black. Um, and this is the hose for the gas. Got it set up on a number seven cup. Um, some reason that won't go all the way in. Am I not supposed to go all the way in? They call it tight. Tungsten's tight, got the tungsten sharpened. We'll see how it turns out. Get you set up here and test it out. I'm using it from that tungsten. I got the. Let's see here. Lay it on there. 2%. That pack of them from the local shop was like 17 bucks for 10 of them. It's 3.30 seconds. So we'll see how that goes. I'm moving that pedal around if you want what that noise is. See if we can just get attacked. Yeah, not really that good. I'm get attacked. It's tacked, it's just a little bit different style welding than anything else, that's for sure. Let's see if I can find my fill rod ahead out here it is. See it acts like there's not enough gas flow with that. I might change that gas flow up. We just got steel alloy RG45. I don't the guy at the welding shop said this would be fine. It's eighth inch, so it's a little small. I kind of thought, but I had somebody else pick it up for me. Let's crank the gas up a little bit. Let's see where it's at. We'll try that.
Well, uh, I got tungsten in there. Like a rookie mistake, right? All right, back at it. We got it sharpened up. It works fairly quick doing it that way. It's not too bad. Try it again. On the other side, because that one side has got tungsten now stuck in there, I had to grind all that out if I wanted to keep it or whatever, but uh, just test it. So we'll see how this goes. Got a little too hot, I'm thinking. It ain't too bad. You can see we got a little hot in that one spot. I mean, it's working. Crank her down a little bit. Uh, the book I looked at was like saying 70 or so amperage, so maybe I had it too hot. hole filled in. Filled in that hole. Let's flip it over and let's try. Next I can need a little bit more. All right, back on the test piece here. Turn on the amperage a little bit. We're at 60 now. We're gonna see how that works out.
do a little better there. Not too bad. Camera ran out of space on it, so uh, delete some stuff off of it, and that's what she looks like now. I mean, the weld ain't the prettiest, but it's penetrated really nice. Um, probably should clean the metal. I think that's where all that's probably coming from is contamination. Hoping so. But uh, so far, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I've really never welded stuff like that together. We used to use these TIG torches at my old job to uh, heat up things to take them out, like bearing races and uh, valve seats and stuff like that. And you can put a lot of heat in one concentrated place. So, uh, and I TIG welded up some stainless, no, no, steel uh, intercore pipes. But, as always, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hoping to do some, maybe some aluminum with this thing. Don't know how that's going to work out. Probably not as good as this. I'll tell you that. But uh, we're going to make some more videos with this. And might get down today down to the lower shop to work on the Cadillac a little bit more today. But uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, see you next time.